Okay, we're on page 53 of your iReady book. At the top, it says, the table shows how many gallons Veda uses for showers of different number of minutes. It's a data table where the top row is time and the bottom row is gallons. So what we're doing starting today is we're seeing other ways that we can represent proportional relationships. So it says, how does the table show a proportional relationship between the length of the shower and the number of gallons used? Okay, there are a couple ways that you could answer this. Let's look at every single one of these as a fraction. If I reduce each of these fractions and I get the same fraction after reducing, then I could say it's a proportional relationship. So one half doesn't reduce. Two over four both have twos in them, so that reduces to one half. These both have threes in them, so that reduces to one half. All of these reduce to one half. So how does it show a proportional relationship? Each pair reduces to the same fraction. So that's one way we can say this. Another way we can say that it's a proportional relationship, notice every one on the top is going up by one. So I add one, I'm adding one, I'm adding one, and I'm adding one. Every one on the bottom is going up by two. If you have numbers that are going, so every time I add one, I'm adding two down at the bottom, I add another one at the top, I'm adding two at the bottom. As long as the relationship that you're doing on the top gives you the same, um, our constant and the bottom ones are constant, you can say that it's a proportional relationship. So another way you can say it is for each minute increase, gallons goes up by two. 